Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make an impulse response of your room. Well, welcome back to the channel. I am Dr. McFarland, and as you can hear, I am in a very large reverberant space, and this is my new studio. And before I start moving stuff in, laying down carpet, adding acoustic panels, all that fun stuff, I wanted to capture the sound of this room before it slips away forever. Because I just know once I start bringing stuff in, the sound is going to change drastically and it just won't be as fun to capture. So I'm actually at the tail end of my process here. I'm going to share my screen here a little bit to kind of show you the process and what the final result sounds like. But let me just show you what you have to do to get this set up in the first place. So behind me right here is a speaker. It can be any studio monitor that you have. It doesn't really matter. And what I've done here at the end was I have a space pair of small diaphragm condenser microphones. And I've had uh, two other mics. I had a Rode NTG2 and also a Rode NT2A placed in different positions throughout the room. And I would capture each one and just listen back and hear what the difference is. So this is my little computer set up here in the ISO booth. And I just wanted to be out of the main room away from the speaker. So I didn't make too much noise. And you can see that I have the Rode NTG2 right there. And I'm using Logic to create this whole process. And the plugin that I'm using is called Space Designer. So what's really cool is you can go in here, choose OpenIR Utility. You can make it mono or stereo. And I'll leave a link in the description so you can watch a video that I originally watched to learn even how to do this process. And the guy was very straightforward and to the point. So I want you to go subscribe to his channel and give his video a thumbs up because it was really helpful for me and I know it will be helpful for you. So let's go ahead and go to the computer now and I'll show you what the final result is and where you can find these files on my website. What I want to show you here in the auditioner is that you have all these test files you can choose from to listen back to your IR that you just made. So check this out. We've got a snare, wood block, male shout, hey, hey, and female shout. Man, those just sound really good. I'm very excited about these. So I'm gonna hit create setting and there's that. My file's been created. Let's go here and rename this. To wave, we're gonna use this in IR. We're gonna open this with QuickTime. And then save this file here. Cool. All right, so now let's have some fun. So what I've done here is I've drug in some loops and I've also, if I click on this acoustic slide track, I've gone down and I made a bus, which is bus 11. And usually for me, bus 11 in Harrison mix bus is my instrument verb. So I'm sending that to aux one and on the bus 11 here, I have the space designer. So I can delete the first one here and I can go in here and choose IR. Let's try out the space pair that we just created. We can see it's 44, one, 24 bit and stereo. All right, so I have the wet all the way up and I can adjust the sand level from here. So this is it all the way dry. Okay, and now I can start bringing the sand level up to hear the reverb. Wow, 
I, I hear that in my headphones. The width and the depth of that reverb sounds great. Uh, here's a tambourine, which is really cool. So check this out. Totally dry. That just gives a great sense of space there. And let's go on and check out the drums. Now something else we can do here is we can actually add an EQ after this. And let's go ahead and darken it up. Bring that down, maybe roll off some bass, like so. Let's listen to it now. Bypass it. Yeah, I like that a lot. I hope this inspires you to find some cool spaces, maybe a train station, maybe your local church, maybe you just have a great sounding living room or a kitchen. I don't know, just go seek out some cool spaces and use this process to create your own impulse responses. So what do you think about that result? I think it's pretty cool that you can capture the sound of your room with a very simple plugin in Apple's Logic. And I'm sure there's many other ways of doing this, but this is just the way that I learned how to do it. And it has worked great. I'm very, very impressed by the sound of my room. And I will definitely be using it in all my future productions, whether I just sneak in a little bit of reverb or just have a nice big reverb sound, maybe on a vocal, on a violin, cello, flute. I mean, I don't know, pretty much anything I want to record and use this reverb to mix in to the final result. So thanks guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe down below and click that bell. If you look below this video right now, you'll see some t-shirts available for sale on my spring store. So if you wanna help support the channel and you wanna have a cool new t-shirt, then go ahead and check that out. And also be sure to check out my website where you can download these files for my room impulse responses and also check out all my courses and also make sure if you're going to buy anything from Sweetwater or Amazon, click through my affiliate links below and that gives me a little bit of commission from every sale to help support the channel. So until next time, I'm Dr. McFarland. I will see you in the next video. Keep rocking.